please like and subscribe. You must obey Captain Zardon. So, okay, Zarganoi, I believe, is almost complete, apart from the white bandolier that goes across him. Now, recently, speaking to a nice chap who sorted me some bits on eBay, and he said that he had a bandolier, but in brown. He did spray them for me, but unfortunately it started to crack and whatever, because it wasn't flexible. I've stripped it as best I can. Put some pictures up of what the white bandolier looks like. Unfortunately, my book, this one is um, only military, actually, man. I've also got another book that does have some of the Space Rangers in, Captain Zargon, Atomic Man, and some of the later ones, but it doesn't have a Zargonite uniform in it. It's Captain Zargon. But, um, so I'm relying on Action Man HQ. If you go on Captain Zargon and go right to the bottom, you actually find a Zargonite uniform. I'm clueless as to where this come from. So if someone watching this video could tell me, let's get a close up of this. Now the white bits are obviously the paint that has cracked and come off. This one I've painted white. I've had to use a tire pen. Over the years, it's gone very brittle. I'm actually really frightened that it's gonna snap if I force that into position. Not really sure how that's supposed to connect, to be honest. You've got these two lugs. This is supposed to have two, but it's only got one. This one has two on each side. Um, and there is no belt that comes across to hold this on. So I presume you just um, connect it under here, so I think these loops, square loops, I presume they go through here to hold it on. It's not a great design, so I think this probably came from another range, six million dollar man or something like that. Um, this one's very brittle as well. It's a little bit more flexible when I put it in warm water, it becomes more flexible. And just to get the shape before I then paint it with a tire paint. But as a little side note, I thought, is there a way I can cast these? Now I have no idea about casting. At the weekend I was making a birthday cake for my granddaughter and we use like a modelling flour paste. Unlike normal icing sugar or if you're American fondant sugar, it sets up a little bit and goes hard enough to keep its shape. So I thought, why can't I try and mould one of these modelling paste? So I had a go. And then I thought, well, what am I gonna use to make the Zargonite bandolier. And I suddenly thought, what about silicon sealant? That sets up really soft and flexible. And I thought, oh, I'll have a go with that. So I did. I had some laying about. So there it is. Haven't got a clue if it's even going to work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and see if I can take it out. And if we can fashion something that for now will look okay. I've got a feeling it will come out, but it will come out with defects just because of the material I use was moving. But I could tweak that if silicon sealant works. I've managed to lift this bit and it doesn't look half bad. So the biggest thing now is I don't want to force this up and obviously tear this at the, at the parts that are the most fragile. Now this is gonna be the fragile parts. I'm at a real critical point now. The big problem I've got is I could have done with dyeing this, get a different colour so I could see where this joins. And because I put too much silicon on, I've made my life harder. Right, there you go. I unfortunately had to destroy the mould. It's hard for me to see now what I've come out with. Um, I'm not a million miles off though. I'm going to trim this up. So this is where we're at. Obviously looking at it, we're not quite finished, but I'm quite happy with the result. The problem I had when I put this in, all of this bit was covered in white paint. I couldn't quite get the white paint off and I did it for I wouldn't matter. But what's happened is you can see the white paint has transferred to the mold and then transferred back to here and caused some of the detail not to show. But I think for my first attempt, and as a little play, I don't think we did too bad. It's so flexible, 
I'm gonna have no problems fitting that on my Zargonite like that. And a few bit more trimming up. I think that's gonna look great. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find some proper mold material and not use the uh, flower paste. As you can see, let's get you close in there. You can just see some of the detail is slightly damaged. I think if I get the right mold material and this is now almost cleaned perfectly, I think I will get a perfect mold. And I think with a bit of silicon sealant, I can make some copied Zargonite bandoliers that are somewhere passable. Right, I'm going to continue to trim this up a bit. So this is where we're at. This was the first one I've done, and this is the problem I'm getting is to try and get this thin enough and to cut a nice straight line is very difficult. Um, from a distance, get away with it. I was using the flour paste from making cakes. So then I moved on to this, which is a two part mold made out of silicon maybe, but it will not set. So it permanently stays sticky, which causes a problem on getting them out. So this is my second attempt, which went a little bit wrong. I lost one of the tabs, which, there which isn't a problem because i only really use one tab the inner tab to attach to the belt i cut a hole in them obviously and it's not perfect again so it's very difficult to cut this stuff straight when you get it out of the mold it's very difficult and it leaves the mold covered in small particles which i'm struggling to get rid of so the next thing I went on to is this. Now, I didn't realise how small this was. Thermoplastic to produce reusable moulds. Now, I thought when I bought this, it was on eBay and it was a big, they were bigger sticks. But they're obviously really small. I'm not quite sure if I've got enough. Um, if not, I'll buy some more. But this is what I'm going to be using to make my mould. So I'm going to be attempting to make this mould all over again from a distance. You won't know that is an original one, but when you get closer and you see the jagged edges. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll be making another two-part mold and we'll be using some thermoplastic, which we've never used before, to create a mold, to try and create the perfect Zargonite bandolier. There's one of our bandoliers we've made, probably the best one so far. This one isn't terrible, but we did lose a loop. But once again, them loops aren't really used. It's only the inner loops that are used to connect the bandolier. So there's another bandolier there. All that's left to say is, action man, Zargonite, get in the cupboard. So thanks for joining me in this exciting episode of Action Fan Update from the Cupboard. He's gonna live back in the cupboard for now. Like I said, in the next episode, we're gonna be playing with thermoplastics and probably make another two part mold because we've got some of that left. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like, please hit that subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Make sure they all like and subscribe.